Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my mother-in-law's kitchen. We had a whirlwind here this afternoon. My mother-in-law made stuffed shells after we got home from church and then my um, sister-in-law and her husband and kids are over here and one of them would like to say hello. This is Stella. Hi. Everybody, she's coming. She's going to be my taste tester, she said. So we're going to have her behind the scenes to making sure everything tastes good and keeping us entertained. Um, hi, Taylor. How are you? I am going to take this opportunity to share this post on my personal page so that my friends know that I am on live now. If you are baking with me today, let's preheat our ovens to 350. Um, something else that is exciting when a part of our mixture is in the oven, we are going to do two giveaways because we hit our 1500 likes and follows on my page. So that's awesome. Hi, Amber. If you guys are just now tuning in, if you would share on your personal Facebook pages, I would appreciate it. Remember watch parties don't work the best because I'm not able to, um, talk to people or comment with them. So if you could just share it or tag somebody that would be the best and i'd appreciate it um tammy says hello this is stella she is here visiting um her grandma and grandpa as well today so we she's gonna be my taste tester today make sure everything tastes good everything is kosher in the kitchen so i'm just sharing this on my personal facebook page and then we will get going my oven is preheated to 350 for these double dairy bars um you may not have heard of these before, or you may read the recipe and we may work our way through the recipe and you may say that there's another name for these. If there are, please tell me. I looked for a little bit last night to try and find a picture that I could post um, last night with the recipe so that um, we had kind of a go by of what it looks like, but I couldn't find it anywhere and it's my grandma's recipe and, okay, you can go sit down, sweetie. Um, and so if you guys recognize this recipe and it's called something else, yeah, please let me know what it's called or what your family calls it. We call it double dairy bars. They are a fan favorite in our family. Um, my family, what they'll do, they'll get to my grandma's house. They'll find them in the deep freezer, or the fridge, and they will hide them from the other family members so that they don't have to share them. Um, is anybody else experiencing anybody else experiencing any lagging or glitching? It's kind of lagging on my side. Hi, Darlene. How are you? Katie, welcome. Um, if you guys are just now popping on, if you guys would share on your personal Facebook pages, I would appreciate it. Rory, if you would do the same, I'd appreciate it. Share my video on your personal page. I have my husband do it so that his friends can see as well because a majority of my followers are his friends and mine. Um, perfect, Taylor. That's good to hear. I'm glad it looks okay because it is kind of glitchy, laggy on mine. Perfect, Madison. I like to hear that. All right, so our oven is preheated to 350. I wish my oven was like my mother-in-law's. It took no time at all. Seriously, like three minutes for this oven to get up to temperature. Mine is mine takes 45 minutes to an hour to get to 350 it's so frustrating so how is everyone today let's get started on this yummy recipe it does not say in the recipe I need to add it of what size pan to use I recommend I talked to my grandma and she recommends using a pan that is a little bit bigger than a 9 by 13 uh, my mother-in-law measured this and it's like 15 by 12 so you can go anywhere between, I wouldn't go any bigger, but 15 by 12 to 9 by 13. Um, the only thing that it's going to change is like the, how thick these bars come out. I think it'll be better to have them thinner than I'm used to. I think the one other time I made these, it was a 9 by 13, and it was a big, thick bar. So everyone else is saying it's clear and no glitch, so that's awesome. Let's get, get going. So we have our pan. This is gonna be similar to our pumpkin bar yesterday. We are gonna line this with parchment paper. You can do that. You can liberally, liber, you guys know what I mean. Spray it like crazy with cooking spray, or you can do, smother it in butter and do the flour. Just make sure you tap off the excess flour if you do it that way, because you want your bars to be able to release. So what I'm gonna do is do some parchment paper. You can sit down, Stella, if you want. It's easier. Oh, you are sitting there. Okay. We've got Stella today, you guys. My niece is here visiting with her mom and dad and brother. 
So her brother is upstairs playing with my oldest. My youngest is down for a nap, hopefully for a little bit. So we get the kitchen to ourselves. All right, so just some parchment paper is the easiest way, you guys. And then um, I'm just gonna set this off to the side. Yes, meanwhile, the boys are playing in the background, so I'm sorry if it's a little loud on your end. Hi, Charity, how are you? All right, so in a large mixing bowl, we are going to mix our butter, brown sugar, eggs, and vanilla. So we need a cup of butter um, softened. So we're gonna throw this in. I am going to cheat today and use my mother-in-law's stand mixer. So I will scoot it over into the frame once I get this all loaded up. You guys, we get to do something exciting today. We get to do two giveaways while this goes into the oven to bake. We have some time to kill. And last night I hit my goal of 1500 likes and follows on my page. So that is so exciting. Um, if you haven't been entered into the giveaway, you can pop off right now, go watch the video on how to get entered into the giveaway. And then um, once we pop this in the oven, we will go ahead and do that um Tammy was our winner last night we had 25 live views that stay there for longer than five minutes so Tammy got um got to win our giveaway and her prize will all come I think believe Monday by the end of day so that's exciting um um so we've yeah, tomorrow. That's crazy. And I just ordered it last night. All right, so we have butter. We need brown sugar, two cups of brown sugar packed firmly. We are going to pop over here, grab these measuring cups. I don't know. My mother-in-law has another cup, measuring cup. But like I said, she was busy cooking in the kitchen this afternoon, so some of our dishes are dirty in the dishwasher. So I'm just gonna use this half a cup four times instead. Looks like my husband is on watching. So thank you for that. He's as supportive as he can be. Looks like him and his dad are watching football in the living room. I, I bet his dad will fall asleep here shortly. He's laying on the floor with a pillow and a blanket. I am so envious. Um, how is everyone else's Sunday doing today? Um, is your team playing on football or what is up with you guys? Our team doesn't play today. We have a bye week. We are Vikings fans. All right, you guys. So we've got two cups of brown sugar. We have a cup of butter. We need two eggs. Got our little eggies. You guys know me, I do, do not like cracking my eggs directly into anything that I have pre-made. It is impossible to fish out the shells if you mix it in like that. So I do recommend that you crack them and add them separately like that so that you are not fishing the shells out of something that you've already poured ingredients into. All right, you guys. What's wrong, sweetie? Do you use wet and dry bowls? Wet and dry bowls, babe. I don't know what you mean. Measuring cups? No, like we use, at home, we use two separate bowls. We do one for like milk and eggs yep. and stuff like that and one for like flour. Yep, the recipe calls for it. It does. You do your flour, your baking soda, and your salt separately, and then you mix them into your wets. Yes, that's right. Stella looks like she knows a little bit about kitchens. Cowboys and Gold Green Bay. Um, I think we, we are wanting Green Bay to lose today. Yes, we are, so sorry. Every day we want them to lose, so whatever. All right, so we have our butter, brown sugar, eggs, and then vanilla, and then we're gonna get this mixed in well. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh -huh. I am not as prepared as I have been the last two times I've come on live here uh, with my mother-in-law being busy in the kitchen. I didn't wanna bother her too much with getting my measuring cups and stuff out ahead of time. So bear with me. Matt, welcome. Just making double dairy bars. Um, I am not sure if they have another name or if this is just a secret family recipe, but if you guys hear this recipe and think of what it reminds you of, let me know. Asta, will you plug this in? I'm not sure how much slack I have. You can always move the camera over so that everyone else can see it. There's Stella again. 
Thank you for the assistance. That was my sister-in-law. So we are going to mix this up until it is well incorporated. Make a huge Stick mess a like I do. Stick of butter is just hanging out on there. Yep. Trying to get it mixed together. Um, Jesse, welcome. You do the same with the Vikings. So it's fair. We it's a it's a, it's a love-hate relationship. Um, I am not sure how long. Hi, Jesus, how are you? We have had 30 people watching, but we might be doing three giveaways today. That's exciting. So if you guys keep hanging out, we will do another giveaway. We're gonna get this mixed up. Get ourselves a spatula. How is everybody doing? Get my face in there a little bit. Get Stella. All right, so we've got this well mixed together. I'm going to scrape down the sides and then give it one more good mix. It's gonna it looks kind of like the little, um, the thing around the like whipped cream stuff in the it looks like the pumpkin batter. Yeah. Yeah. It does kind of look like that. Kind of the same ingredients. Some brown sugar, some butter. There's just pumpkin in the other one. So get this all mixed up and then we are gonna mix together our dry ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna reposition you guys. We're gonna get a bowl out for our dry ingredients like Stella said. Um, Grab out this ball. I think this will fit everything that we are needing. I am probably going to, I have my um, nuts, my pecans chopped finely already in a cup. I'm just gonna pour them out so that I can use this measuring cup. Um, I am going to stop what I'm doing because we have had more than 25 live views for longer than five minutes. So if you guys, if this is your first time watching, the way this works is you are going to type out your name and we will do a giveaway inside of the video. So let's begin now, you guys. Let's start typing in our names to get entered into this giveaway. This is something that I do to show my support back to people that support me during my live videos. When you sit and watch um, me live, I try to give back. So comment your name just once and I will say it out loud as I add it in so that you know that I have seen it. Madison, we have Mimi, we have Taylor Anderson, we have Mary Brady. We have Tyler Anderson, we have Brooke Stevens, we have Amber Mack, Anastasia. I hear my husband trying to get in on the game. Jesse Snyder, Katina, Andrea Costa. Shannon. Oh, you guys are good today. Not having to remind you guys to type your names. So we've got Shannon Sweeney. We have Jaden. We have Jesus. I think I got you, Jesse, right? Jesse Snyder. Yep, I got Jesse. Katie Hurley. Tammy, Rory, Denise, yes, there's a lot of people watching and so we are doing a giveaway because of that. Um, I do this so that people come and hang out with me and then I give them stuff for their kitchen so that they can join me and cook. All right, you guys, I'm gonna read back the names. If you don't hear your name, comment it again. Madison, Mimi, Taylor Anderson, Mary Brady, Tyler Anderson, Brooke Stevens, Amber Mack, Anastasia, Jesse Snyder, Katina, Andrea Crosta, Andrea Crosta, Costa, Shannon Sweeney, Jaden, Jesus, Katie Hurley, Tammy, Rory, Denise, Connie, and Janice. All right, I'll give you a little bit of time. Let's say 
Renee, since you were the last one to comment, pick a number between one and 10. Tina, I got you too, girl. Pick a number between one and 10, Renee. And once she picks a number, it closes out the giveaway entering and we will pick, I think I got you, Janice. Um, unless we have two Janices, let's double check that their names, last names are different. Oh, Janice Anderson, yep, I got you. My dad just jumped on. Hi, dad, how are you? All right, so Renee picked seven. Yes, Tina, no worries. I got you, Star. All right, we are closing it out and we will do number seven. So the seventh name pulled out of the box wins. Remember you guys, once your name is pulled, I do remove you so that it cannot be pulled again. So here we go, you guys. Number one is Janice. Sorry, girl. All right, let's get it back in the middle. Number two. Hey Zeus, sorry guys, no such luck. Number three, Andrea, sorry. Number four, Number five, Brooke Stevens, I'm sorry. My husband has his video open, so it's it's kind of distracting yeah, me. What number are we on, you guys? Um, what was the number, Roy? What number are we on? You got me completely confused. All right, do you remember what number we were on? Five, you guys? My husband completely made me lose track. It's delayed on his phone and I could hear it. What number is this, you guys? Is this five? Amber so Mac. Five six, I, I know. Amber Mac. Was it five? I don't want to move on until we know what number it was. Next one wins, Madison says. So that was six. Oh, we've got five, five. Okay. So I'm going to stay with five. Five is what I thought. So here it goes six. Denise, all right, drum roll, Stella. The next person wins. Katie Hurley. Katie, your job now is just to message the Mom Fueling Hungry Boys page your shipping details and I will send you off a gift. Congratulations, Katie. Yay. Thank you for watching and hanging out with us. It is lots of fun I am just going to get our our recipe back up and then um, we will move on with our recipe you guys yes congratulations okay so now we're gonna keep going if um, I'll show you tonight okay. they post on the Facebook they post what they get if you're interested in what kind of things I give away I do have it posted on the Facebook page people post what they win and pictures and I reshare them so that everyone can kind of see and get a feel for what to expect if you ever are a winner so we are gonna do our flour our baking soda and our salt we need one and a half cups of flour nope sorry Rory still no win my husband's still in it to try and win a giveaway my dad did win one time, unexpectedly, so that was fun. So one and a half cups of flour. I have my other measuring cup is in the sink from putting eggs in it, so I'm just gonna use my quarter cup so that I don't have to clean those eggs out. So one and a half cups of flour. We need a teaspoon of baking soda. baking soda. That's fine, sweetie. Teaspoon of baking soda. Yes, Mary Jo, it is so good. It is a family favorite. It is really, really rich and delicious. So if you are not a rich chocolatey person, I don't recommend this recipe. It is very, very rich, very um, filling. So we have our one and a half cups of flour, a teaspoon of soda, 
and a teaspoon of salt. Hi, Harmony, welcome back. All right, you guys, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking soda. I am going to just whisk this up a little bit. And then we are going to mix these dry ingredients into our brown sugar batter that we just did over here. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see again. So we are gonna add this, these dry ingredients into our mix. This is the coolest little design, you guys. My mother-in-law has this little chute to pour ingredients in so that they all make it into the bowl without making a huge mix. Super awesome, super neat. Highly recommend it if you have a stand mixer. We're gonna start it on low. Hi Cassie, how are you? Kaylin, welcome. So we are just mixing our dry ingredients into our wet. We started off on slow. You don't want to make a big flowery cloud. I'm going to stop. I'm going to scrape down the sides. And then our next step is going to be adding in our old fashioned oats. You want to make sure that they are not the quick cook oats, the not, um, you want the good, old-fashioned, uncooked oats. They are what my grandma recommends. They are what she uses. It gives it a nice texture in the double dairy bar. So we have our wet and dry ingredients mixed in. Cassie's watching. Do you want to wave, Stella? Um, we have Stella here, Cassie. So I don't know if Patience is watching with you today, but we have Stella in the kitchen helping me out today. So we have our wet and our dry ingredients mixed in together. I am going to do what I promised and let Stella be our taste tester. Um, if you are super weird about eating raw eggs, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm kind of loosey goosey when it comes to eating raw eggs. And it'll probably kick me in the butt one day, but it hasn't yet. Um, we are going to use, is it good? Yep, she approves. It's good, it's not poisonous yet. She hasn't keeled over, so we're gonna do two cups of oats. I always make a mess in my kitchen, you guys. My poor mother-in-law just destroying her kitchen. One recipe at a time. Two cups of oats. We're just gonna mix those in there. And then it's gonna be ready to bake. Yes, Cassie says, hi, Riley, hi, Stella. All right, get these oats mixed in. It smells delicious, you guys. It smells like an oatmeal cookie. Mm, smells, I, I do too. Raisin oatmeal cookies are my favorite. Yeah. Actually, Snickerdoodle is my all-time favorite, but cinnamon raisin are my second Cinnamon favorite. raisin is my favorite cookie. It is, that's good to know, so I know what to make yeah. you. All right, so we have, yeah. So we've stirred in our oats. Now we're gonna spread this out onto the large cookie sheet that you have either sprayed with Pam or you have done what I have done and you put parchment paper on it. Either way, you need to make sure that this is not going to stick. You want to try your best to have this not stick to your yummy, delicious bars. I am going to, don't know, yes. Got some coconut oil cooking bars. spray. I, uh, huh? I love you to try one of Oh, of course. There is more to it. Okay, so I did use a little bit of cooking spray to get the parchment paper to stick. <laughs> I'm not making oatmeal cookies, but it does smell like oatmeal cookies. This stuff smells really good, you guys. Coconut oil cooking oh, spray. Coconut. It smells really good. I so love we're coconuts. Yeah, we love coconuts. So we are gonna take this, you guys, and we are gonna press this into our pan. Looks delicious, smells delicious. I can now see it just why my- It looks like, like a blob. It looks like cookie dough and it smells like cookie dough and I love cookie dough more than I like cookies probably. All right, so we are gonna spread this onto our pan. 
It is a little more difficult and time consuming, but it'll be worth it once you get the sauce spread out onto your pan. Like I said, you um, want to use a little bit bigger than a 9 by 13 um, because this will bake up. If you use a 9 by 13, it will kind of bake up over the edges and you don't want that. It is kind of sticky hard to spread around. So if you have some trick to spreading things like this, let me know if there's a little trick that I don't know. Chrissy, welcome. We are just hanging out today making double dairy bars. And then once we get these in the oven, we are gonna do two more giveaways, you guys, because we hit 1,500 likes and follows on my page. That's and a lot. It is a lot of people, Stella. And I am so thankful that you guys have invited your family and friends to come and watch and hang out with me in the kitchen. It could not be possible without you guys. So I'm gonna do a little giveaway to show my appreciation to you guys for inviting who you did. So we're gonna get just spread out. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be flat. You just want it pretty even on the edges so that it can bake. I'm so excited to try Yeah, this isn't even all of it, CD. This is just the crust of the bar. What? Yeah, there's more. There's, more. there's chocolate, there's sweet and condensed milk. Yeah, so good, you guys. Um, Everybody loves it's chocolate. okay, Roxy. Um, I any kind of coming and hanging out is fine with me. So we have this spread out thoroughly, spread it out as evenly as possible as you can on your cookie sheet. Then we are going to mix up the frosting and spread it over the batter, and then we're gonna bake it. So I'm gonna set this off to the side again. We are going to use this bowl again. Just wipe it out. It had our flour and baking soda in it. We are going to mix up our frosting. So we need one and a half cans of sweetened condensed milk. Just kind of eyeball it the best you can when it comes half to half the can. Just going to grab out a baby spatula to scrape out the inside. Um, Yes, Amber, it smells good, it looks good, it's gonna taste really good. Um, Stella tried it before I added the uncooked oats in and she said it was really good. Yeah, so, strong. it's a little sweet. Yeah, yeah like it's a little sweet yeah, with like just the brown sugar. And then the aftertaste um, is like, it's like, I don't know, like sweet, like sweet, Maybe the vanilla that you didn't bitter. like? Yeah, it's maybe the vanilla, the uncooked yeah, like vanilla. The, yeah, the back, the, after. Okay, so we did about one and a half cans of the Eagle Brown. Just eyeball it the best you can. So one and a half cans of Eagle Brown. Then so we need milk. to stir in the cream cheese and the vanilla. So you needed two blocks. <clears throat> yes, Madison. It's like it, it was like a night and day difference. We. We kind of got over that thousand likes and follows, and I feel like the last 500 people that have liked the page are actually interested, and they actually come and hang out with me, which is super exciting and nerve-wracking, and my mother-in-law was kind of nervous that the post last night reached 2,500 people, and she's like, oh my God, why did that many people see my kitchen? So it is kind of exciting, nerve-wracking, um, but it's all because of you guys that these people come and hang out with me and watch with me. I did have a request last night. So um, I want to say at the start of the new year, I will try and work in at least one to two um, vegan recipes, one to two Weight Watchers recipes, and one to two... Um, yes, gluten-free. Girl read my mind. Gluten-free recipes. I'm going to do my best if you guys request things like that, I will do my best to work them into my show. I have no problem cooking that way. Um, my friend, um, Michaela and Dylan, they have, they're gluten-free. Yeah, and my um, goddaughter and godson are actually gluten-free as well, so it would benefit us to learn some recipes too. Taylor, you even have your hubby watching. It just doubles your chance of winning. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, so we've got our two blocks of softened cream cheese in here. We have our sweetened condensed milk and our vanilla we're gonna add to this as well. So we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla into this. I am going to, Cam, do you wanna go ask grandma for her egg beaters? I'm not sure. So instead of being efficient and cleaning this out, I'm just gonna use her egg beaters and beat this up. But, oh, I found them. And I found them, you guys, that was easy. I'm slowly learning my way around my mother-in-law's kitchen. So that's good. All right, Stella, your job. Can you plug me in over there? You can unplug um, this, this mixer so that you can plug me in. All right, so we'll scooch over. We'll close this, scooch this back. You got me plugged in? Yep. Awesome. Always good to have an assistant in the kitchen, you guys. Even if it is a little one, they usually can help you better than no one at all. Um, I made my fiance watch last night when the sound wouldn't work on my phone. Of course, that's so weird. It happened to a couple of people, but um, the replay seemed to work fine, so that's good. All right, so we are mixing up our what my grandma calls our frosting. So we're doing sweetened condensed milk, cream cheese softened, and vanilla. So we're gonna just get this mixed up the best we can, you guys. If you guys have been watching since the beginning, you, I'm sure, um, you're turning diabetic just watching this, this thing be created. Um, yeah, I don't know why last night, it, Facebook wanted to keep it a secret from everybody that, that I was gonna do a giveaway, but I am glad I didn't have to redo the video when it posted it, it had sound, because um, then I would've felt really bad that I sat there and talked to 20 people and didn't have any sound. So we're gonna mix this up, we're gonna try and get all the lumps and clumps out the best we can, we want it nice and smooth. Um, what I probably would recommend you doing if you make this in the replay or later on, Maybe throw your softened cream cheese in a bowl and, and use egg beaters on it for a while first. Then add your sweetened condensed milk and your vanilla and it might be easier for you to get it creamier faster. All right, so we have our frosting. It is light and fluffy, nice and sweet. Cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk, you guys. It, what, sweetie? Can people add colors? Um, I mean, you can. If you want to make it more like a Christmassy bar, you could add food coloring. And um, be creative. Yeah. You could add maybe green or red to make it more of a holiday color. Or any color. Yeah. If you want to do it not on Christmas time, you can do whatever color you want. A lot of people were having sound issues the last couple of days. Leave it up to Facebook. I mean, I'm sure it's hard for them to keep something like this up and running all the time, but... I seem to notice that issues happen, happen a lot more on pages like this than um, personal pages. So we have our frosting all mixed up, you guys. So we are going to spread two thirds of this onto here and we're gonna save a third of it to add to our chocolate mixture that we're gonna make while this is baking. So I'm going to grab out just a smaller bowl. I do recommend that any bowls that have been sitting in your cupboards for a little while, just wipe them out. It uh, can't hurt to get some of those dust bunnies that may have ended up in there out. Yeah, and so. spiders. Oh, hopefully once not spiders. I, yeah, once when I was drinking water from a glass, I found a spider on it. Yikes, that's no fun. Yeah, we don't want what Stella says happened. We don't want any spiders. So I did about a third of the mixture, you guys. I just used a measuring cup to scoop it out of my bowl. Um, and now we are going to scoop it out of our bowl. She's okay. And into our onto our pan. I'm gonna get my hands washed up here. Now we are gonna dump this on and spread it the best we can. Smells good. Cream cheese. Cooking is fun, especially if you're the taste tester. It is a lot of fun when you're a taste tester. Kingston and Grayson will just come running into the kitchen just to try things and then run away. They usually get excited when they see mom's KitchenAid mixer come out because then they know mommy's baking and they get to try stuff that's yummy. How is everyone doing? 
this. I cannot wait for this to bake, you guys. I'm hoping it turns out a lot better than when I made it, I probably made it four years ago, and it did not turn out well, you guys. And that was back, I was not a baker back then. I did not know what I was doing. I wung a lot of things, because I cook kind of, kind of throwing stuff together and not being super precise on my measurements. Well, I have since learned that baking relies on being precise. <laughs> So I'm hoping this turns out a lot better, A, because I'm using a bigger pan than a 9x13, and B, because I'm putting a lot more love into it than I did last time. Last time it wasn't, wasn't how it was supposed to be so much so that my mom refused to eat it. That speaks volumes, because my mom loves double dairy bars, and she was like, these just aren't right, Riley. I can't, I can't eat them. I don't know why they're not, they're not right. Couldn't tell you what to fix, but they were not good. So, have this all spread out. Um, I'm gonna try and see. No, it's too solid. Try and get the bubbles out, but it's not gonna work. All right, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, you guys, are we ready? We are gonna throw this. Hi, Alexis. Make sure I've got it all right. We've got a third of the mixture reserved in a bowl. We're gonna save this. The rest of it is over the batter on the cookie sheet. We're gonna sprinkle the nuts on top and then bake for 25 minutes. So we do a cup of pecans is what my grandma recommends. If you have a nut that you prefer better, I would say go for it. Almonds, pecans, cashews, um, you name it, I would say you could probably use it. Um, hi, Stevie, how are you? Um, I wouldn't say no. Pistachios? I mean, they're not. They're salty. Um, if you get salted, but you can just get regular pistachios that are just oven roasted and they're not as salty. So you're just going to sprinkle this. It's chopped as finely as possible. You want to just be able to dust them into this frosting. Do people have to use um, nuts or... You know what? I have never tried it without nuts. I don't like nuts either, but... And also some people Yep, there might be people that are allergic to nuts. If they're allergic to lagoons or tree nuts, yeah, I would recommend. I mean, it couldn't hurt to try them without nuts. Um, the only thing I think that would be missing is a little bit of the texture difference that the nut provides. But other than that, I don't like nuts, so I think that it sounds way better. Hi, Crystal. I know I miss you, too. I wish you were on vacation with me. You'd need one. So I'm just going to kind of pat these in. The last time I made this recipe... <clears throat> For whatever reason, this layer and my chocolate frosting layer, they kept separating from each other. So I'm hoping that by pushing these nuts into the frosting a little bit, that the frosting is gonna bake up over and around them and allow that other chocolate layer we're gonna make to incorporate a little better. All right, you guys, so we're gonna throw this in the oven. I'm just gonna double check, make sure we got our nuts sprinkled on. We're gonna throw it in the oven for 25 minutes. Um, Stella, I'm gonna open this oven, so be careful. We wanna be careful of our faces, hands, toes, kids, dogs. Watch out so that you don't burn anybody. Don't burn Ooh, cats. It looks like grandma switched these, um, these racks. We're gonna wanna go on the center rack, you guys. Just keep that right there. Throw this in. Like, not literally. That would be I mean, idea. you could try and throw it in, but it would probably make a big mess. Yes. So, we're going to set our timer for 25 minutes. And what that means is it is time for us to do our two giveaways. I have pulled everyone's name off of the post that I created on how to get entered into the giveaway. Um, if you have not commented on that post, and you are watching right now, I will give you the opportunity to get entered into the giveaway. Um, please try not to comment your name if you did comment on the giveaway post so that I don't have to double check names. Um, I do have them alphabetized, so if it does happen, she is a good co-host. Shannon, who's watching, says you are a good co-host. She's you, good. Shannon. I always tell people that they always kind of scurry away and try and stay quiet and out of, the, uh, out of the light, but I like it. I like the talking. That's why I have you guys comment as well because it's fun and interactive. Um, so we are just 11 minutes over the 3 o'clock time, I would say, we were going to do our giveaway. So 
what we are gonna do we have about 58 people entered in thanks stevie <laughs> i appreciate it stevie said i'm so darn cute so he's sweet stevie is a really really close friend of my mom and they were friends when we lived in vegas and now they actually live in arizona together as well all right you guys so let's pick a game so we have we did the magic box today we did the the claw machine yesterday which one do you think we should do hmm. fishing eggs pig gold cog which one crane claw pick we did that one last night so don't pick this one or this one i try to mix it up piggy bank piggy bank Okay, we're gonna do the piggy bank bang game, you guys. Sherry, hi, Jesus Medina. Let's see if Jesus, if you have been entered in, I believe I can add you. Hey, Jesus, you are in there already. Sherry, I will see if you are in here. All right, Sherry, I will add you in here and then we will get going. Sherry. One R, Sherry by Conan. All right, Amanda Schaefer. I do have you on here already. Jasmine Stefan. I have you as well, Jamie. Yes, I have you as well, Jamie. Oh, wait, Jamie. Gail, I don't see you. I see Jamie Wilkie. But let's do Jamie Gale. Jamie Gale. Andrea. Nope. Okay, so you guys, this one is a little different than what we did earlier. I created a post on my page that you had to comment on to get entered in. And I'm letting some people enter in at the last minute here. So, Renee, I had you as well. Tyler Anderson. I have Taylor, but I will add Tyler in here. Tyler. Yeah, I believe they are married if that's... She said she had her husband watching with her. Tyler Anderson. Mary Brady. Let's get you in there. Mary Brady. Yes, it's going to be so yummy. So, our... Um, our dessert is in the oven baking for a little bit. We do have a little bit more to do after our giveaway. We have a frosting to make for the top of chocolate frosting. So, um, Mary, you should be. Yes, Mary, you are on there. Jaden, I will add you. Should you put cancel or it has something on there? Oops, thank you. Jaden, Sailor, Maya. We'll add you as well. Once I'm done adding these names, you guys, we will do two giveaways today. And these two giveaways are for um, to show my appreciation to those of you that have liked and followed my page and have invited people to like and follow my page because we hit 1,500 likes and follows, you guys. It's amazing. Um, Crystal, the things that I give away are usually... Um, they're usually kitchen related, food related. If you look on my page, you can see some of the past winners. They've won mixing bowls, they've won collapsible mixing spoons and mixing or measuring cups and measuring spoons. They've won a gift card to Longhorn. They've won um, a little container with a bunch of different mixing spoons and cooking spoons. Um, all sorts of different things, you guys. Um, just kind of random things that I find on Amazon Smiles and I send them off to you guys. So. That's what I try to do, some kitchen stuff related to, to my show so that I can show my appreciation and you guys can have some fun tools to use while you bake with me. Ask my mother-in-law where she got the mat. You want one. What mat? What are we talking about? What mat? This on the floor? No, because you can't see that. I don't know what you're talking about, Crystal. Ask me, and I'll, I'll, I'll ask her for you. All right, so Brooke Stevens, we are almost done, and then we will do our giveaway, you guys. Two of them, actually. Um, the way I do it is I will have somebody, Amber, I've got you, Stephanie. Um, I will have somebody pick a number, two people, pick numbers, 
Stephanie, I've got you. I just made my fun husband follow your page. Nice. All right, you guys. We have everyone entered in. Oh, Rory, my husband, sliding in at the last second. Always in there trying to win something. I think, I think he'll win like a back massage or something if he wins. So don't have to spend any money on him. <laughs> you have been waiting for this for so long, Carly. Are you talking about me doing a show finally? Because I, um, yeah, I've been been talking about it for a while and I finally got the guts to get on here and do a show Madison I should have you sweetie yep I've got Madison um, we need Cassie we'll get Cassie in there Tammy I believe I got you babe yep Tammy you're in there Amber all right you guys I have got everybody. So, Amber, since you're the last one to comment, pick two numbers between 1 and 10. Um, and those will be what number winner we choose out of the game that Stella picked for us. This is exciting, you guys. Um, we have 70 people entered into this giveaway. That is the most I've ever had. 30 is about tops for people that are paying attention and watching me and listening. And we have 40 people watching right now. That is amazing. My heart is so full, you guys. I am nervous, but it's it's exciting that you guys are sitting here and watching me. Obviously, giving stuff away is a good incentive to come and hang out with me. So we are just waiting for Amber to pick two numbers between 1 and 10. I have everybody's name set into the game. So we have 8 and 3. Three. When I pull your name out, if it is not one of the winning numbers, I do remove your name so you cannot be pulled again. I'm sorry I just tried to do that to stay as fair as possible. We are playing the piggy bank game today. So the third name, the third name is a winner. Tracy, I'm sorry you did not win. All right, second name. Dad, sorry, Daddy O, can't win two times. <laughs> we got him removed. All right, third one. If I can tell it to pick one. Amanda Schaefer. Amanda Schaefer, your job as a winner is to go on to the Montpeling Hungry Boys page and message me your shipping information, and I will get a gift off to you. If you ask some of my previous winners, I don't think it's ever taken longer than a week to get um, a prize at your door. So we've got number three, you guys. We will remove her and keep working towards number eight. So we've got three. Here comes four. Mary. Mary Jo Silver McClellan. I'm sorry. We will get number five. Brianna Pierin. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your, butchering your names, you guys. All right, number, are we on six? Number six, Andrea, sorry girl. All right, number seven, Asia Myers, I'm sorry girl. All right, drum roll, Stella. Abby Laverne. Felicia, Felicia, Abby, Laverne, Abby, Yay! if you are on and watching, your job is just to look at you, Amanda, speaking in and already winning, oh, sneaking in and winning prizes. Uh, it's a different, um, it's Abby, Amanda, oh, the first winner, no, I don't know, my husband's confusing me, um, all right, you guys, if you know Abby, tag her. If she is not watching, you can still win, even if you are not present today. Um, those are our two winners, you guys. Your jobs are just to message me my, on my private Pay Mom Fueling 100 Boys page and give me your shipping details, and I will get something sent off to you guys. Um, yes, you guys, everybody, thank you for hanging out with me. Awesome for winning, you guys. We have about 14 minutes left on our... A mixture that is in the oven. Frosting. What, sweetie? So we should work on the frosting. Yep, we're gonna work on the frosting. So we are gonna favorite pull part. up our recipe. I don't know which my favorite part is. It's either eating it or making the frosting, and then living.
baking is good. <laughs> yes, that's true. Any any taste testing that you do while baking is always really good. So while that's baking in a saucepan, we're gonna heat the remaining topping, the two thirds cup topping that we kept. We're gonna heat this up with the chocolate and warm it until melted. So we need a cup of semi-sweet chips and I'm just gonna mix them right into here. Yes, super awesome, Tammy. It's been making me nervous, but it's been about 30 to 40 people for a while now. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. We're making double dairy bars. We have, um, our batter is in the oven right now baking. I'm trying not to spray these chocolate chips all over the kitchen. All right, so we are gonna do a cup of chocolate chips in here. Kind of eyeball it, you guys. I'm doing this is a third measuring cup. I'm kind of just making with what I can, since some of the since some of the dishes are dirty in the house. I'm gonna use the spatula that has the frosting on it. I'm going to move you guys over to the stove. So Stella, will you do me a huge favor and unplug this little one? Hello, everybody. We are going to migrate in the kitchen over to the stove so that we can get our chocolate nice and melted up with the rest of our frosting. I'm gonna move you guys over. Welcome you guys to the other side of the kitchen. Hello, how is everyone? Um, Cassie, we are actually on vacation. So he gets to skip school tomorrow. Lucky little ducky. Um, and then we come back Tuesday night. So he'll be at school Wednesday. He loves school. He loves hanging out with his friends. He was super sad that on this trip, he can't be on this trip and go to school at the same time. He does miss his friends. So it was sad to have to explain that to him. I don't know. I'm down here, you guys. I don't know if you can see me. I yeah, they am like they baking in my mother-in-law's kitchen. So, trying to find things in here that I don't know where they normally are. I think they're in the hall pantry. So, it says in a small saucepan, but all I can find, can you find a smaller one of these? Do you know where they're at? Like in the... I think... Like in there, in the pantry that you're looking at. To the right, we're gonna have C if she can help me, you guys. So we're gonna melt this. What, sweetie? In the cupboard or I think in the cupboard. So we're gonna melt this on the stove while our, our, Yes, so I'm gonna show you guys in here to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to baking with a smaller pan because this with the cream cheese in it does poof up. You can see it kind of poofing up over the edge. So imagine how bad that would be if we had a smaller pan. It would be overflowing craziness. Okay, so we, we checked for a smaller pan. We don't have one, can't find one. Sorry guys, that was probably kind of dizzy. So we're gonna dump this into here and we are gonna heat this on low until the chocolate is melted into the frosting. Yes, yes, chocolate frosting. So this is cream cheese, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and then semi-sweet chocolate pieces. It sounds really weird when you first think about it, but then when you taste it, it's delicious. I just sprayed myself with frosting, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm not the cleanest cook there is, that's for sure, you guys. You should see the disaster <laughs> behind me. <laughs> um, that's kind of my goal, you guys. I'm not professional, I'm not fancy. I make messes, I make mistakes. If you guys saw my ooey gooey butter cake, um, I do mess up, I do, I'm not perfect by any means. So this is kind of my goal is to help you guys feel comfortable trying new recipes and knowing that it does not take an experienced chef to make some of these delicious recipes to serve them for your family. Um, I actually, I submitted a, um, my 
she just said I should be on Nailed It. And I actually reached out to them uh, like a year and a half ago and they said they didn't have open casting but that they would let me know when they did. And they sent me another email saying, we have open casting, here's the link on how to submit a video and what we're looking for, you know, we look forward to hearing from you. So I worked really, really hard and I made a video and I submitted my pictures and I did everything I was supposed to for Nailed It. They called me, they interviewed me on the phone, I was a nervous wreck and they asked me crazy questions like what certain things were when it came to baking and they said the guy was super excited to talk to me and said that I would hear if if I made it to the next round I would hear from his boss and wah wah that's as far as I got and they didn't ever call me back um my husband is sweet and he convinced me um that I'm just too good to be on nailed it and that that's why you didn't get on so I just keep telling myself that but, so we are just heating this up, you guys, if you can see it. This is just the sweetened condensed milk, the cream cheese, vanilla, and then semi-sweet chocolate pieces. In the recipe, my grandma does say to have milk on standby to thin this out when it comes, yeah, it's in the fridge, um, to thin it out when it comes time to spread it onto your cookie sheet. It's okay, babe. I can grab it if we need it. So we're going to melt this up while this is baked, done baking. Um, I am going to have you just scooch, babe, so that I can take a look at this. I just don't want you to burn yourself. I want to say we're getting closer. It's overflowing on this one. Yep, and it's trying to. That's what I showed him it on the video, like too. No, but I think that was from something I made the other day. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a professional. I make messes in the oven and the counter and whatever else. So it is baking, it is getting super poofy, you guys. When it does um, cool down, it does flatten back out. I'm going to... The cheese fell off and into the grate. The cheese? Yeah. What cheese? On, on a pizza that we made once. Oh, yeah. That's why mom, grandma has the little sheet down there so that it catches anything that falls in your oven. She bought those for me too. My mother-in-law, she's trying to sneak around. I know you guys saw her climb down the stairs. She didn't know the camera was facing the other way. So when our baking comes out of the oven, we are gonna throw it outside to rapid cool it. I hope it's cold enough outside today to rapid cool. My arm is getting tired, you guys, but I'm keep gonna, you wanna keep mixing this so that you don't burn the chocolate on the bottom. So don't. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. I don't want you to burn yourself. Okay. It's kind of hot. Um, but we want to keep mixing it so that the chocolate doesn't burn on the bottom. Yeah, she's tasted the first part. She said it was good, and she gave gave us a nice review of the flavors and the, the aftertaste and stuff like that. Um, we couldn't find a smaller pan, or we didn't know where it was at, so just did with, did with what we could. <laughs> All right, did our giveaway winners message me so that we can get gifts off to them, you guys? Um, if you have won on my page before, if you guys want to comment what you guys won and how they worked out for your kitchen, that would be really cool. Um, if you are watching and just hanging out today, what are you guys doing on this Sunday? We woke up and actually made it to church for once. I know we always try and I always say on Saturday night we're going to wake up and go to church. And we never wake up on time. But this time we did. We set an alarm and we got everybody up and we went to church because grandma and grandpa, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, they were singing at church today. So that was important to make that. And I was singing too at church. You were singing too? Well, I guess I was kind of singing, just not on stage like Grandma and Grandpa were. Yeah, I was on stage. You were on stage? Yeah. Oh, well, good job. I have a church choir for kids. Yeah, and you're a part of it? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you like it? Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I really fun songs. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't have anything like that when I was a kid. We had Sunday school that I sat in, but not church, kids' mm -hmm. church choir. All right, so we've got this mixed up. You guys, our chocolate is nice and melted. I'm gonna turn the heat off because I do. It looks like chocolate frosting. Oh yeah, it is chocolate frosting. It might it be looks warm. Like the kind that we buy at the school or at, at the store. Might be warm, so blow on it first before you put it on your mouth. So we're gonna let her taste test our chocolate frosting, you guys. Um, I'm gonna have you back away again so I can check the oven. Okay. When you get old enough, I'm just going to put you to work and start making you clean my dishes for me while I'm cooking. Hey. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to just take a look at it. I'm not sure how it is supposed to be once it is baked up. It is super jiggly, wobbly. The edges are getting oh, kind I of can, over I can see it going down. down. So good. <laughs> I think Stella so approves, you guys. Yes, so we so have good. this in there. Yes, Cassie, it's gonna be good. So we have this all ready. I'm going to pull this out. We're gonna throw it outside really fast. We're gonna do a, like a couple minute cool down. Um, and then we will put our frosting on. Um, in my grandma's recipe, it says wait until completely cooled. And then when I talked to her about it, she admitted that she doesn't typically let it cool all that much. So like I said, the first time I made it, I kind of ran into an issue of my layers not sticking together between the knots and the chocolate. And so I'm hoping following her didn't really let it cool down thing that I'm gonna have a little more success with the layers sticking together. So. Um, I don't know, um, probably outside is colder, um, do you need anything to put underneath it so that it doesn't burn? Okay, my mother-in-law is the, um, the best sous chef I could ask for, and then Stella is the best, um, company I could ask for. So I'm gonna give my mother-in-law some mittens too. So she does not burn her hands. It's gonna or be kind of. Hands. It's gonna be kind of jiggly, mom. So just. Oh yeah, it looks kind of like jello. Yeah, it's that cream cheese. It's gonna be kind of jiggly, you guys. So just it's expect that. I'm glad I used the pan to have the handle on the side. It's definitely jiggly. <laughs> I'm sweating. I don't know why you need to warm your hands up. I'm over here sweating. Okay, you guys. So that's gonna pop outside. I'm gonna move you guys back over, have Stella plug us back in, and let's hang out for a little bit, you guys. I hate this dead time that we have between these two steps, but I just find it kind of silly if I were to pop off, um, if I were to get off of the video and then come back on for three minutes to, to spread the frosting on there. So, let's talk, you guys. Um, is anybody else on here that's watching or is anybody on Weight Watchers? Does anybody have any Weight Watchers recipes that they recommend? Stella's going to give us a little halftime show. Um, does anybody have any Weight Watchers recipes they recommend? Any gluten-free ones? Any vegan ones? Any, you guys, throw them at me. There's 20 people watching right now. I'm talking to you. Give me some ideas, you guys. Things that you guys would like to see things that you guys are interested in as well um, for recipes for the new year. I kind of have the next month and a half worked out as far as recipes go. We're kind of gonna do um, a, like a month and a half of sweets. So I would really like to start the new year with some nice hearty dinner recipes. Um, you guys, we got three giveaways done today. So if you are just now tuning in and have never watched my show before, I do giveaways. The reason, yes, the free stuff is always awesome. The reason why I do giveaways is to show my support back to you guys for everything you do for me. This wouldn't be possible without you guys, the Facebook users. Um, I would be talking to myself in a kitchen, being pretty sad and lonely. So I really owe it to you guys, and because I feel that way, I do giveaways. I do giveaways when we hit 25 um, live views that stay there for longer than five minutes while I'm cooking. If we were to ever hit 50 that stayed there, we got pretty close today. If we ever were to hit 50 that stayed there, we would do two giveaways in the show. My husband wants us to do steak, shrimp, and lobster. My dad did tell me that he wanted me to do my, my steak and my lobster, my crab legs and stuff like that. So once it's nicer weather outside, I will definitely, oh, our timer that we ignored. Um, but I will definitely, when it's summertime, we'll do like hamburgers and steak and shrimp and lobster and all those fun dishes. But while it's winter time, chicken recipes, Crystal? Yes, I've got a couple of chicken recipes. Um, I really, really want to do, is there any interest in my chicken curry soup? It's my dad's recipe. It's like chicken, cream curry, broccoli, um, coconut milk, 
It's a super good but kind of spicy soup that my dad makes. Super awesome. Is there any interest in that? Um, yes, Stella, what do you think? It's that we pesto pasta? It's so good. Yeah, you think I should do a pesto pasta recipe? Yeah. It has okay. like chicken and noodles and pesto and tomatoes and it's so good. It sounds super good and sounds super healthy. So pesto pasta is what Stella says. Yes, yeah, spicy and it's really good. Um, I don't know if you like curry crystal, but it if you like a coconut flavor, it goes really well with it. Coconut curry soup, it's super super good it's making my mouth water um i recently asked my dad for the recipe and my dad doesn't use recipes so i don't know why i kid myself because his text message was basically just ingredients and he couldn't tell me the amounts to put in taylor um crock pot recipes i've done a week and a half of some crock pot recipes so if there is some specific protein that you would like to see in a crock pot recipe, let me know. I did some chicken ones, some beef ones, some pork ones. My my slow cooker baked ziti, I actually did pork. I did spicy Italian sausage in mine. Um, that was really, really good. Um, I could do, there's a couple. I never did my chili recipe in the crock pot. That's really good. Hi, Nicole. So you guys, all of these ideas are super awesome. I appreciate it. Yes, chili is good. I did a white chicken chili, which was the, the cracked oh, chicken yes. chili. Crystal, yes, I should do my rib recipe. If my husband agrees that it's good, he might have just been lying to me all these years, but if he agrees that my, my rib recipe is actually good, I will share it with you guys. Um, we are actually not making turkey this year, but I do have a really yummy, pretty simple turkey recipe. We skip, my husband loves stuffing, but we skip putting the stuffing in the bird. Um, and because of that, I end up stuffing my turkey with like lemons and oranges and sage and stuff like that. Um, super good and citrusy turkey that comes out of it. I also put like sticks and sticks of butter under the skin of the turkey, which makes the turkey Skin, crunchy and buttery and delicious so I highly recommend that recipe um, Chinese food I did do that firecracker chicken crystal you need to check it out on my page or my um, my website has it if firecracker chicken is like a spicy general Tso's chicken that you can make at home so so good I also did Mongolian beef in the crock pot crystal so crock pot recipe Mongolian beef I also have a 10 minute um, fried rice recipe that I have posted, Crystal, if you are interested in that. Favorite at your house is beef stroganoff in the crock pot. Jamie, if you wanna send me in a message, that recipe, I would love to put it on my page. Um, hi, April, welcome. We are just waiting patiently, impatiently, for our baked mixture that just came out of the oven. We stuck it outside to do a little rapid cool before we try and frost it and then we will be done for the day. April, we did three giveaways today. We did two for the 1,500 likes and follows, and then we did one for 25 live views that stayed there for longer than five minutes, and it happened right away, April. I got maybe like three steps into my recipe, and everybody was hanging out with me. It was super, super exciting. Um, yes, Jamie, if you would send me that recipe, I love it, you guys. Um, don't ever feel weird or like I'm not going to reply back or I'm not going to respond. If you have a recipe that you want me to try and you haven't tried or maybe intimidated by, send it my way. If you have a recipe that your family makes at least once a week, send it my way. I have no problem trying new recipes. I love you guys helping me because kind of like writer's block, I get cooking block and um, having some ideas from people really helps. So having people reach out to me and ask for vegan recipes and Weight Watchers recipes that makes me really excited and eager to get on and find yummy recipes. So don't ever feel bashful about that. Reaching out to me is always appreciated. Um, yes, April, I uh, it was awesome. There was three winners today. Um, so we'll do, I'll send those gifts off, which means that we'll have four people, hopefully next, next week or this week, bless you, this week, I keep forgetting it's Sunday, um, to, uh, to post what they want on my giveaway. Maybe you make spaghetti once a week. We do like spaghetti once a week, tacos once a week. Um, what I really want to do is have my 
mother-in-law teach me her fry bread recipe. I really shouldn't because I'll probably gain a lot of weight, but she made tacos um, the first night we came here with fry bread. I don't know if any of you, um, it's kind of a Midwestern thing, I feel like fry bread. It's a Native American recipe, I believe, originally. Um, Elephant ears are other names for them. Super, super good, but my mother-in-law makes them and they're phenomenal. You can eat them um, with taco stuff on it or you can put peanut butter and sugar and honey on them and eat them. Um, Crystal, you can make fried bread, so you're gonna come to my house and teach me? Cause, yum. That would be super fun too. Lefsa, my um, my oldest loves lefsa. It's a Norwegian treat. Mm -hmm. um, and he learned recently at school, he, they went to the Hustafest and he tried it and he loved it. So Lefsa would be really cool to learn. Um, we call them Indian tacos. Yes, Madison, Indian tacos, elephant ears, fry bread. Um, Crystal is gonna pretend like she has enough time to teach me, but I know she is super busy all the time, but I love it. So between Crystal and my mother-in-law, I hope that I can learn it one of these days. I am going to, I'm gonna pop these things back in my mother-in-law's cupboard and then I'm gonna grab that from outside and see if it has cooled enough that we can put the frosting on it. Try and keep my mother-in-law's kitchen as tidy as I can as I invade her life. Steal chocolate chips. There's chocolate chips sitting right here, so I'm just gonna eat it. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, that should be. It's still hot on the bottom, but it has collapsed down, and that's kind of what I was looking for. I wanted it to at least rest enough that there was room for us to pour this chocolatey frosting on. So my grandma recommends to add milk to thin it out a little bit so that it's easier to spread. Um, so I'm going to pop over, grab some Chocolate milk? Would that be weird, you guys? To add chocolate milk instead of regular milk? I'm gonna do it, it you guys. It would be a little weird, but it would still be delicious. I'm gonna add chocolate milk to it because it's chocolatey. I mean, right? You're coming to visit when I get back. You'll be taking Thursday to Sunday off. Yeah, but the last thing you want to do when you're taking time off is to help me make fry bread. I mean, obviously, unless we're making it and eating it, that's cool too. <laughs> Hi, Dakota. Yes, okay, so chocolate milk in the frosting. I did it, you guys, it happened. I'm sorry if you didn't approve, but it smells even better. Um, I'm trying to thin it out. I might add a little bit more. I just hope that it still hardens up. So my grandma, I think, recommended, let's look. She recommended, two to three tablespoons. So I didn't do nearly that much. So we should still be good to go on letting the chocolate stand up once we pour it on. Eat it while it's hot, yeah? That's what I did at my mother-in-law's house. I feel like I ate my fry bread so fast because I wanted my fry bread, my other fry bread, to still be warm when I put my cinnamon and sugar and stuff on it. And I made it so well that my husband actually forced me to share it with him after I made my, my dessert fry bread. All right, you guys. So I'm just kind of pouring it, instead of pouring it all in one spot, I kind of poured it around so that we didn't have to spread it as far when it, it came. It's kind of in a, like a checkered position. Yeah, it is kind of checkered how I my spread it. We are gonna do our best to spread this out, you guys. I think my grandma is right, the spreading A when we added the milk in, but also spreading it while it's still warm is a lot easier as well, where the last time I made this, I wanna say, I mean, I cooled it completely down. It was probably almost frozen. The last time I made this and went to spread the chocolate on, I don't know if Stella's gonna have the patience for this to cool down and freeze before she tries a piece, but I will make sure that I send some with her parents so that maybe if they're good kids after school tomorrow, they can have some double dairy bars after dinner. <laughs> it smells super good. Yeah, it does. It's super easy, you guys. Adding that milk and 
This mixture is still warm to the touch, has made spreading this chocolate a lot easier. Way better, you guys. All right, that's it. That was our recipe. The longest time that we had to spend on it was bake time. It's gonna be super delicious, you guys. I am going to, once I am done doing this, I am going to post my pumpkin rolls that I never got a chance to post. I um, will. Are those ones that we had that yep. They're so good. They are really good, but I told you guys, my grandma had told me to double the frosting. Well, then I called her last night and I'm like, Grandma, like it was a lot of frosting. The cake was like bursting through it. And she was like, oh, honey, no, I had already doubled the recipe on the recipe book. So don't double it. I fixed the post. So just follow the post. One and a half packages of cream cheese. You know, just follow that. Uh, don't double it like I did. It's a lot of frosting and it wasn't necessary. And I wasn't able to really roll the pumpkin roll because the frosting was so much. Um, yeah, there was a lot of frosting. A lot of frosting and I like frosting and it was too much so here are our double dairy bars they are not ready to eat yet they need to cool when it comes time and they are cooled or frozen my grandma does say they freeze really well she always makes these um, cools them and freezes them and then they're super easy to cut and super easy to serve um, and they don't take long to thaw out an hour maybe so we're gonna stick this outside because it's a cold outside. But you can see with the parchment paper, it's gonna be super easy. The edges are just gonna pop up and then we'll be able to cut it into bars like they're gonna be. I'm so, so excited to eat it. I know, I'm excited too. It looks like it turned out better than the first time I ever made it. Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, you guys. We had three giveaway winners today, so that's exciting. We will have four people in the next week to post what they have won. You guys, I am beyond excited and grateful that you guys have been following my page. 1,500 likes and follows on my page, but more than that at this point, which is amazing. We had like 35 to 40 people hanging out with me today during this recipe. I appreciate all that love. There's 25 people that have hung out with me through this 8 to 15 minute gap time of waiting for this to bake and cool. That's true support and love that we are here and hanging out with each other. I cannot thank you guys enough. The only way I can express my gratitude is by buying you guys to use in your kitchen. Buy you guys cool stuff and tools to use in your kitchen. I try to buy things that I don't think people normally have readily available in their kitchen. If I ever send you something and you open it and you have it, let me know, please. I will make it right, I will fix it. We will get it sent back and I will get you something else. So um, if that ever happens, don't be shy. Just message me and let me know and we will work with Amazon on sending it back and getting you something that you don't have. Um, yes, Mary Jo, you guys, this is delicious. I highly, highly recommend you making it for Thanksgiving or Christmas. It is sure to be a hit, super rich, super yummy. Um, like Stella said, um, if you don't like nuts, pick a different nut. If you're allergic to nuts, skip it and see what happens. I don't think the world is going to end. My grandma would probably have a heart attack saying that we weren't going to put nuts in a recipe. But I don't think it'll make or break a double dairy bar. But if you don't like pecans, use pistachios, use cashews, use walnuts, use almonds, you name it. Just make sure you grind it up really, really well so that it's really fine um, when you put it down on the cream cheese frosting. But and this maybe, is it, you guys. Maybe yeah. they could add other uh, um, substitutes to the nuts. Or yeah. Like find different substitutes for it. Like what? What would you recommend? We got oats um, in here already. What would you want to put in there instead of a nut? We've got mm -hmm. chocolate. I mean, or Stella did crunch. say you could like make granola. it. Like granola. Yeah, granola. It's kind of like oatmeal, so it might be too much with it. But granola could be good or a cereal of some kind. Yeah, like um, something crunchy. Yep, you definitely want something crunchy with it. Maybe it. like um, like frosted cereal oh, or yeah. like frosted flakes or and something. And then they can tell you about it. Yeah, and you guys, if you ever make a variation and it works out or doesn't work out, please share with me. I always want to know and always am happy to hear how things Probably turned out if your family mistake. likes it or doesn't <laughs> like it. Yes, and then we can tell people the mistakes so that it doesn't happen again. Yes, coconut, Tammy, it's funny that you say that. So when um, my family used to eat this recipe before my grandma made her cookbook, if you asked anybody in the family, they would tell you that it had coconut in it. And my grandma used to just laugh and say no. And so I think that the pecans ground up like this does give it a coconut texture. So I think that would be a really good added 
to this instead of nuts is coconut flakes. Um, I would probably use unsweetened coconut flakes. It might be too sweet if you use sweetened ones. Um, but yes, good, good recommendation. Um, Stella also thought maybe if you were making it super festive for a party or something, that in the cream cheese layer that's in the middle, so when you cut this open, there'll be a, a white layer. She said to add a color. If you um, aren't scared of adding food coloring to your desserts, add a red, green, purple, she said whatever color. If you want to keep it festive, use a green or a red. Um, but they are perfect the way they are. But if you need to make changes for dietary or health reasons, totally understandable. Just let me know how it goes. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And um, I am not sure when I am on next or what the hay I am even making. I think they're Mar Martha Washington balls which are gonna be some work, but they are worth it. They are really, really good, rich, and yummy. So, um, Jamie, how do you message me on the page? That is a very good question, because I never message myself. Let's figure it out. So, when you go to my page. Yeah, I might have to, because mine is logged in. I don't see them, though. Um, because at the top of my page is different than what I think your guys's would be. Oh, here, I can do view as. So I can view it like you guys do. So let's look together, you guys. I am not sure. Does anybody know how to message the page if you won something? That's a good question. I don't know. Anybody have an answer for Jamie? I have never been asked that before, so I don't know how you talk to me about, okay, no, I don't know, I don't know where my husband is to steal his phone either to look at it. I'm going to go find him. Um, Jamie, if nothing else, I will message you first. Oh, okay, here it is. So when you're looking at my page, if you um, go over to, even if you're in like the videos, if you're in the videos tab or you're in the about tab, so you just scroll down until you see the about section and it says send message is the second option and you can send a message. Or some people are saying, um, if you are watching this page, you hit my face and then the three dots up at the corner, you can send me a message. Um, they said it's right next to the follow button. There's a couple of options. I've never been asked that before. Don't so set your iPad on the milk. Right in the food. Um, I've never been asked that before, so good question. You got it. Awesome. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I will post a picture of our pumpkin rolls and our double dairy bars. Everybody say bye to Stella. Say bye. thank you. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out.